Okay, I'm attempting with an egg and some milk and some garlic powder and some smoked paprika and some chicken breasts to do a southern fried chicken style crumbed bake in the oven. Let's see how she comes out. Okay, so that's the chicken and the egg, all the, all the thigh fillets cut in half with the egg, the milk, the garlic powder, a good healthy dollop of yogurt, a good Greek yogurt, and um, some nice uh, herb salt that I've done. All right, they're gonna sit in the fridge for about half an hour before I decide to crumb them. Right, yeah, so I have indeed crumbed all the thighs and then slid them onto some skewers and I've sprinkled a little cracked pepper over the top of them and I'll hang them up on the rack in the big pig smoker obviously nine at a time and uh, I'll spray them with a little hit of canola before they go in for the roast. Okie doke, here we go. Log on the right there is just throwing out a few small smoky bits chunk in the middle is just charcoal, wood charcoal thing ready to go. Um, and I've now placed the chicken on my hooks in the rack. The current temperature is there, but when I shut the door, it's gonna race up. So it should not take more than, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. I'm gonna shut the door now and get cooking. Right, let's go and take a sneak peek. So it didn't shoot up as high as I thought it was going to go. Hmm, I thought it would actually go a little bit more over that. But nonetheless, it's still hot. So I've probably, at a guess, uh, as now I'm at about the 16 minute mark, I'm going to guess that the base of it is possibly a little bit overdone. I did spray them with canola oil. Oh no, it looks like they've got a, oh yeah, a few spots just, just a bit charry there, but it looks like it's still got way to go. I ain't gotta, hmm, it's starting to smell good though. All right, I'm gonna shut that up. And to me, that doesn't matter if that bakes for another half hour. Well, maybe another 20 minutes. Let's check it then. Righty, I have a 25 minute mark. Let's, uh, Get a glance at this. It's only six minutes, really. Yeah, they're uh, some of them are looking a little bit more golden than the rest. They'll leave them in. They're not going to overcook. They're crumb. They're juicy. They're coated in egg and flavour. We'll check it shortly. Although he's getting hungry. However, whilst I'm watching those ones on the uh, skewers outside hanging and baking in the open air. I just thought I'd whack these last five pieces that I had onto a grill for when I take the others out and spray them with a little canola and see if they cook any better. Have the opportunity to flip them and they might fry in their own oil more evenly. I'll let you know. Okay, the truth of the matter is that the chicken um, really needed a more even heat distribution. So it's cooked, because it's been in there for over 30 minutes and it's thoroughly cooked. But I'm gonna leave it in this um, side oven, just to like keep snuggy warm and thoroughly bake through. You see there's some corners that are a little bit burnt on the bottom. Look at that on there, that's definitely charcoal. But that's the worst bit. But all the rest are fine. Where the canola oil soaked in, they've cooked better. So I'm gonna put the lid back on them to keep warm. So what I've done with the last four or five ears, and look, barbecuing isn't always perfect, is I've slipped them all in on a baking tray. Come on you, focus. Focus, Michael. Anyway, so they're in there and they're covered in canola oil and they uh, will bake in a more even oven heat like that. So I'm going to close that up now. I'm going to leave them alone for 
Oh, that's hot now. And uh, we'll dig in later, won't we? Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. Fine. All right, what do you think, dog? Give it a that's taste. Good. Mashed potato, butter, peas, coleslaw with a sweet sesame dressing, a little steamed brioche, toasted. Are you going to taste it? Taste yeah, the will. chicken. I will. Okay. Just how's the chicken? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Come on. Tender. Yeah, I didn't cook it that well. All right, you go out tonight and at least you'll have a nice full tummy. Enjoy, mm -hmm. doll. Thank you. Right, well, clearly, look at this. I've just flipped these. Look at that fella in front there. Roasty, toasty, golden brown. That one off the back needs a little more doing. But, um, in fact, I'll just flip that one back. I flipped that one too early. But, um, seriously, that is a much better way to do than the stupid way I did. Nonetheless, people will still eat them because they taste good. Right? Right? Yeah, bake them flat on those grills, spray them with oil. This is all that's left. The kids have hooked in. Hope you enjoy it.